here to teach you hers hold on from the live SNL performance about a week ago. Uh, her is a fantastic singer, fantastic guitar player. I love this tune. There are nods to Prince and Jimi Hendrix and Jeff Buckley and a lot of the great singer guitar players. And of course it has a, a sort of typical old school R&B feel. Um, so let's actually hop into it. It's an easy enough tune and I think we can learn it in a short amount of time. So there are two and a half, possibly three chords in this song. Uh, the chords are a C, and you actually play this C as an F shape. So if you know the F, right, it starts here, you're taking that same shape, but you're sliding it up to the eighth fret. So you have your ring finger on the 10th fret of D, your middle finger on the ninth fret of G, and then you bar the eighth fret of B and E. And this is a, like a Jimi Hendrix style chord. Hendrix used to use these chords all the time. And it's movable and it gets its name from either this note on the high E string, that's a root, or uh, this note on the D string. So this one happens to be C. Her plays it in the Jimi Hendrix style. So she plays, um, you know, she plays the chord with her thumb playing the low root and that allows her to do some fills here and there, which is very typical to do that kind of thing. Um, but she doesn't do too many fills in that performance actually. I think the second guitar player does the kind of in the background. Um, but she does play this line throughout, which uh, becomes a solo later, becomes the kind of lead line and it goes. So that's the little line. You're gonna uh, strum the chord and do a little rake, which means you hit all the strings and you block them out kind of quickly with your right hand. Okay, and the second chord is an F sus4 chord. And what, what we mean when we say sus4 is that there's no third there. So if you've ever heard like the Who's Tommy, it goes through a bunch of sus chords. Right, it's the same thing. But um, in this case, you're doing the F shape. And then you're getting rid of the sus and doing a regular F. So if you put your pinky on the third fret of G, but do that same F shape. So what I have there is I have my ring finger on the third fret of D, pinky on the third fret of G, uh, and then I'm barring the first fret of the, of the B and the E strings. And then what I do is I resolve that by bringing my middle finger there. So all together, and this is the main pattern of the entire tune, we're gonna go. So what she does with the lead there, she takes the same line as before. But she moves it down, so she's playing it on, mostly on the B string. And she goes from the third fret to the fifth fret, she slides up. So slide to five, then six, eight. Then she bends the 10th fret up a half step. So it's tricky, I think our tendency is to bend a whole step. But to keep it in tune, to keep it in this key, this is in uh, C mixolydian. Right, you wanna make sure that you're bending up a half step. Step up and then down. And then she's gonna do this cool little uh, lick where she goes back to the, the tonic, back to the C note on the G string though. So a little out of position. And then she goes. So she goes. Fifth fret of G, and then she plays a third fret of B and hammers onto the fifth fret of B. And then kind of quickly does this little articulation where she pulls off from the fifth to the third and comes down to the fifth of G. So all together. That's the first lick. The second lick goes like this. So same thing again. And then she kind of has fun bending up uh, on the seventh fret. So you can sort of do, it's sort of like, but it's, she's bending it. Let's 
to the solo, she takes that same line, but she plays it an octave up. So she goes up to the 10th fret, and she goes, um, she hammers on from 10 to 12, and she goes. And then she sort of walks it up. 13th, 15th, uh, 17, and you're gonna bend the 17th up a, a, a half step, just like we did before. And release. So. Right, so it's the same as what we saw before. But she's doing it an octave higher. Right, and, and then it's basically the same thing. There are a couple of other things. She does an oblique bend. Right, and some other things like that. But um, it's basically the same thing, an octave higher.